Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Alright. So I just pinned the comment on the on below. So you can go find me uh, at Jun Kim Art. Um, yeah, welcome to my studio. Uh, okay. Perfect. Alright, um, I'm in my share studio right now, so you might hear the background noises. But I will try myself best to get clear as possible. So I get set two or two right now, so I will just get started and start talking. So, um, just a little bit about my studio. Um, I'm in a shared studio right now. I have um, this space is shared with two two other artists. They're not here today, but usually, like we don't really come at all at the same time. Um, but if we do, we wear masks. We try to keep ourselves self safe as as much as possible. Um, the two other artists, um, big shout out to them, they are uh, Raul Olao and Linz Mio. Uh, Linz just literally just moved in, so I'm going to show their studios just in a bit, just when I do the grand tour. Um, also, what else? Um, yeah, I think that's about it, about the studio. Uh, a little bit about myself. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining. Okay, I'm just gonna keep talking. It feels weird that just talking to myself. <laughs> um, okay, a little bit of myself. I have a bachelor degree in Korean painting from Doksung Women's University in Seoul, Korea. And then I get my master in uh, Washington University in St. Louis in, in the States. Um, I guess uh, for the Korean painting in my bachelor, in my undergrad, I was more focused on the history of the Korean painting and as well as um, the materials that we use in the traditional measure, traditional Korean paintings. And then in my grad school in states, I was more focused on, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, focus on developing the conceptual part of my work. So that's the time when I first start <clears throat> thinking about the in between space, which is the space in between cultures, space in between like past and present or fantasy or reality. So those theme is still continuing and impacting on my work right now, um, which I will show you shortly. Um, yeah, and I moved to Toronto in 2016, which is not very long ago. Um, since then, I have been involved a lot of um, exhibitions and also I did a lot of mirrors um, uh, what else what else um, yeah I guess mirror was kind of new uh, for me because I have been trained traditionally in my undergrad and grad school but it was definitely like a changing point for me as um, as an artist um, working in a public realm. So, which is really interesting for me, and I'm really enjoying doing it. Um, okay, I guess that's about me and my little studio. Uh, let me flip it around and show you my studio. Just showing you my little doggy Choo Choo. This is our studio mascot. <laughs> um, this is my little desk where I do all my emails, 
um, administrative work as a self-employed full-time artist. This is very important space for me. I do most of my grant writings, um, all the administrative work here. Um, and here's the wall with all my art. These are pretty recent paintings. Uh, recently, I've been very interested in bringing some elements from Korean folk art and incorporate into my work. So I have painted a lot of tigers these days because I feel like uh, in the pandemic, um, tiger represents the power and also in Korean folk art, uh, people um, think if you hang tigers painting at home, that will bring you uh, good luck. So that's how I first started this painting and I still continuing doing it. Some of my older pieces here, uh, these are more geometric shapes. I was really into uh, constructing geometric shapes in my work and that represent the home and the world that we live in. Um, there's another tiger, it's in work in progress, so it doesn't have any eyes yet, but it will, it will be done. So that's my shelf. I also recently started doing potteries. So I keep all my uh, ceramics here that are drying in the rack right now. So after it's all dried, I'm gonna um, paint it and fire it. Uh, here's my desk that I do most of my paintings and pot, uh, ceramic works. So this is a pretty big desk. I do most of my work here. It's a very important space for me. Uh, another ceramic piece I worked on yesterday. Um, as I told you, I'm a mural artist. So I'm like really into bringing that element into the ceramic too. So this thing is a <laughs> ceramics break and I can't wait to fire it and if you open it you can just use it as a I don't know like a pencil case so this is um yeah this is my spot here uh, and here I keep all my mirror materials all the spray paints uh, like latex paints it's all here uh, let me just give you a little tour of the the whole room so okay when you walk into this door my studio is on the right side here and on the left side this spot is right now empty so yeah we're trying to find the person to who can move in this spot um, this is Raul's studio. He is a brilliant oil painter. He does like beautiful landscapes, um, portraits. Okay. And those are our shared storage area. And here is Lynn's Mio's studio space. She's um she just moved in like literally yesterday she like still kind of figuring out the layout but it looks gorgeous i'm so happy that she uh, became a part of our family so yeah that's the whole studio i guess um if you have any questions about the studio yeah feel free to comment below and I'm going to sit down again and uh, answer some of the questions. Okay. So I was looking at the questions that Arts Dobico sent me. Okay, I'm just gonna read out the question and answer it. 
So first question was how long have you been affiliated with Arts Tobico? So I had this three person show in 2019 uh, at Arts Tobico with Mr. Hyde and Shabnam Aflan. So that's how I first get engaged with Arts Tobico and since then I've been like uh, kind of in the circle and uh, keeping in contact with them so yeah I got a question here could you speak a little bit about your work process theme and color all right let me flip this around again and show you my paintings um, work progress work, work process so theme, uh, most of my theme is pretty similar. Uh, everything has started from one place, which is my longing for home. As an immigrant, I always think about home a lot and it, I try to think what the home means to people, for everybody. And in my piece, um, I try to incorporate a lot of elements from Korean four cars because that's my root and that represent my home in Korea. And using that element in my painting, like contemporary pro process, uh, contemporary practice, it's um, it's the way I cope in the reality and it's the way I settle uh, in the different culture and why tigers so i briefly mentioned um a bit tiger in korean folk art that represents the power and also people believe that if you have the tigers painting at home it will um, guide you through the hard time and it will protect you from the disease or like hard weather um, basically, it wishes you a good luck. So that's how I, how I started painting tigers. Um, it all started at the beginning of the pandemic. Before then, I didn't paint any tigers. But then I was doing some research, and I I was saw, I saw that a tiger has a really great meaning. So I started doing tiger series of tiger digital painting in my Instagram. So I had I did thirty day tiger challenge. And that's how it all started. I paint, I draw um, tigers on my iPad digitally, 30 tigers every day. And then, yeah, and then I was like, just fell in love with the shape of tiger. And I feel like I had to do more of this because it just means so much of good things. So yeah, that's how I started doing it. So, um, and also I, uh, it's not here, but uh, some of my uh, recent work, I had a lot of deers too. So there's a um, myth in Korea, there's a 10 symbols of longevity. So all 10 symbols represent the youth and longevity. One of the symbol is deer, so I put a lot of deers in my paintings too, which is not here, but uh, that's one of the themes that I do a lot. Um, here's a one painting in progress right now. It's a tiger intertwined with <laughs> no the tiger. It's a dragon intertwined with kraken, the big octopus. So it's still um, in progress, but yeah, after painting a lot of tigers, I feel like I need to do more research on this mythical creature, so uh, I started this one. I probably do more, do more of mythical, pro uh, mythical creatures in my work. Um, what else? What else I can show you? Um, I don't know, this is my um, color studies for the, I don't usually do landscapes, 
but I recently started taking this landscape class. So this is like a value study. So I was seeing, looking at the same um, landscape and change the value. Like this, the background is light and this background is dark. It's the same scene, but as I change the value, it definitely looks so difficult. It, it looks like one painting is a daytime and the other painting, other painting looks like a nighttime. And yeah, some of the more recent landscape is um, this one is master painting. Uh, I just like follow the master painting to do some like color studies. So I guess um, I've done, I've made a lot of paintings in my life, but like um, doing such thing like, like a landscape is such a different thing. And it really teach me a lot. Like sometimes if you do something that you're not used to, it really helps you uh, think of your art different way. So I highly recommend do something that you're not used to in art field. I think it really helps me a lot too. Okay, so let me uh, keep reading these questions and answer. Uh, what is something people don't know about you? Okay, this is funny thing. I I told you um, I did a Korean painting as a in the undergrad. I actually have a double major in undergrad. I did fashion design as a double major. So I did I did make a um, set of clothes and had a graduation show, fashion show. At that time, I thought that I was like very into fashion. I was like very fashionable person, but right now I'm more into comfort side rather than like being so fancy and fashion. So no more fashion for me. Uh, okay, another question. What do you do with your spare time when you're not creating art? Um, as self-employed artists, um, when I'm not creating something, I do the administrative work, like emailing, um, like figuring out how I'm gonna pay the tax and stuff like that. Um, other than those boring uh, administrative thing, for fun, I like to to stay home. I guess that's what the 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 quarantine makes a little bit easier for me. I, I like to stay home. I just like watch TV and hang out with Choo Choo. So um, yeah, that's what I like to do. Uh, what is the go-to meal you make for guests? I don't usually cook because my husband does 90% of cooking at home. Uh, but if I do make something, I probably go for Korean food, like kimchi, kimchi fried, fried rice or kimchi stew with pork, which is very yummy. It's perfect food for winter. Uh, what is the most meaningful art experience you've had? Um, every art experience is very useful, uh, meaningful. Um, I guess uh, as a mural artist, most of the community-based artwork that I've done um, has a very meaningful experience for me. Uh, in 2018 and 2019, uh, my artist collective, KJ Bid, um, we co we organized the Slingway project. So what we did was um, inviting 30, 40 artists in the same Slingway and we gave them a garage door to paint. 
so we painted the whole laneway with different artists with uh, with different art so yeah after the painting we had a big celebration with community members all the residents came out and all the artists came out and we had a really we had a really good time and uh, a lot of residents came up to me and saying oh thank you for making our laneway beautiful making it so safe so yeah like hearing those comments it's really meaningful for me and it's it's a, such a great experience to know that what artists can do to the community and um and like community really appreciate the art that artists do so those kind of thing is very very meaningful and that makes me keep going uh, why do you think community arts are important? Uh, I've seen the changes uh, in the community through art. So it's, it's a fact that community art is very important. And I cannot say enough about how important it is. It really brings people together and um, and give strong sense of belonging so i think that's very important part two um, as an immigrant like sense of belonging is very important and it's just something that i always looking for so when i uh, experience this community art i feel like i'm in the community i feel like um, i'm really within this community i'm, I'm like a community member also, um, also, I think the community art is can act as a bridge between different cultures, various cultures. So sometimes it's hard to explain it with words, but it, with art, it's much more accessible. I, I would say. So I feel like in that part, it's also very important. So yeah, I think I've answered all the questions. Um, do you guys have any more questions? I can show you more of my more of the corner like sections of my studio i guess i skipped through it a lot choo choo is just sleeping here okay so if you open this i have a big printer i uh, i like i make my own print if it's smaller size so if you see it here these are all the print that i make So I printed this with that big printer. It's pretty good. It's a very good uh, quality and very high resolution. And that's the the original painting. The original painting, the color is more vibrant, of course, and it's very fluorescent. But it cannot really capture the fluorescent color with the printer but it's close enough i would say and some other tigers here so this is one of the 30 day tiger painting um yeah i had like whole different tigers if you go to my instagram i have a highlighted story with all 30 different tigers you can go through that and um, someone I think asked where can buy find my art um, I try to upload my most recent projects on my Instagram pretty regularly so you can find it there and I also have a shop which is also on my Instagram uh, if you click my bio there is a link to the to my shop so that's where you can find my prints 
all my ceramics, all my original paintings, it's, uh, it's all there. Hi, Linz. Um, what else? These are my pre preliminary sketches. So this is actually the first sketches that I did for that one. At first, it was just one dragon, and I decided to put another creature there so that it makes more balance in the in in the frame. This is another uh, sketch of the tiger. I've been kind of saving it because I want to paint this as a as a mirror. If I can get like really massive big wall, I would love to paint this on the wall. Um, what else? Here's a little example of the ceramic that I make. It's one of the first pieces that I made from the community center before pandemic. I was going to, I was, I was in this community class, community center ceramic class. The instructor was uh, Nicole. She's a great artist, she's an amazing artist, and she taught me a lot about the ceramics. So after the pandemic, I couldn't go to this class anymore, so I decided to just make it on my own, so that's how it all happened. So you can see all the ceramic pieces that I made, like here and there. And some stuff is drying. There's a few more. It's all like test pieces. So it didn't really turn out as I wanted. I wanted it to be more like more bright, more opaque, but I feel like I need to do more tests. So we'll see. I hope it's getting I hope it gets better and my um, my piece that I made yesterday this breaking ceramic I'm really excited about this I'm probably gonna make a couple more and have a series of it different color uh, okay so where I can show you That's about it. I feel like I show you everything about my studio. My spray cans. It's very soothing when you watch your spray cans like this. It just gives me the joy in my heart. I just feel like all the colors. I love it. Hi Linz, Linz here. This is her spot. We already showed, but since she's here, I'm gonna show her show this spot again. It's a beautiful spot. Okay. Alright, if you guys don't have any questions, thing that's all for me. Let me just go through the comments if there's any other questions. Alright, thank you for joining for my virtual studio tour. Uh, it's been great. Get connected. Um, hopefully see you again in the in the real life thank you everyone bye